Hickok 45 here with a Ruger Ranch Rifle. I bet you've never seen one of those before, have you? Well, they're pretty common. You've seen a couple around here, but we've not had one in 300 blackout. And this one's mine. Can I take a shot? How about red plate over there? Boom! How about a buffalo? <laughs> That's kind of loud though, isn't it? You know what? Let's quit breaking the sound barrier and uh, change gears here. After all, we got the Banish 30 Gold on here from Silencer Central. Let's take advantage of it. <laughs> what the heck? Let's see if this is a little better. I'll try the Ram. I like that better, don't you? <laughs> that is plinking at its best. That is plinking. Oh, there's a uh, cinder block over there on that barrel. <laughs> it's like throwing rocks at it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, this is this is so cool. And this is why I bought it. Uh, I, uh, I wanted uh, another 300 blackout in a really quiet bolt gun. Just a uh, standard bolt gun. I bought this uh, down from the famous Amber at Exile Armory in Weaver, Alabama. You all know about that. Talked about it on Sunday. You see a new video and uh, actually it was kind of on my list i didn't let her talk me into it i went looking for a 300 blackout in a bolt gun and i uh, looked at the savage and looked at this I, I like the fact that i could put a 10 round or even a 30 round mag in if i wanted so these 10 rounds are nice it is a bolt gun i don't think uh yeah i, I you know, use whatever magazine you want if you're in a free state right but uh yeah so it, it's just a nice rig and uh when you and that's where 300 blackout shines, right? Uh, everybody thought it was going to be the cartridge to end all, you know. Uh, but and it's not dyed; it's expensive, kind of, uh, and it, it just really shines when you suppress it. Uh, so it's kind of it's fun from my standpoint. Other people might have more tactical purposes for it, but pretty cool. So anyway, this is about the Ruger Ranch rifle, the 300 blackout, and uh, just just having fun. Let's take another shot. How about quietly smash a two liter right here? <laughs> yeah, it is, uh, it is fun. Woo! <laughs> well, such drama. Such drama. How about a bowling pin here? Woo! <laughs> it's like slinging 45 ACP quietly because these rounds are 220 grains, I think, something like that. But anyway, it is a Ruger Ranch rifle. Uh, and it's uh you know like i say i didn't get this one we've gotten several from buds over the years on on loan and this one uh, is maybe like the third I, I don't know but you know the polymer stock you got a refloated barrel they uh the adjustable trigger uh my gosh safety they uh they're reliable they uh very popular they're not crazy expensive I don't know, somewhere around, this one I think was around six, 600 a page, something like that, a little 650. And uh, didn't come with a red dot scope or a suppressor or anything, <laughs> but uh, you know, just a, a good all around rifle. As you all know, many of you more than I do, who bench rest shoot and you, you were into shooting groups and, and that kind of thing uh, more than I am, which wouldn't take much, would it? Because uh, I don't do it really at all. Uh, to speak of, but these days there are so many good, reasonably priced, highly accurate rifles. Now there's rifles more accurate than this, no doubt about it, but uh, I know I've heard lots of experts on that topic you know, speak to it, that you used to have to spend thousands of dollars to get even this kind of accuracy that you can get out of a five or $600 rifle these days. And so it's, it's again, it's a great time to be into firearms, isn't it? So. Yeah, the Ruger Ranch rifle is just a really nice, nice basic rifle. Uh, plenty accurate for most purposes. And, uh, yeah, I guess this is the first one I've owned. I actually bought this one. Yeah. So, uh, now I'm shooting, well, I don't know, two or three kinds of ammo I get. Mostly, I think it's uh, some Federal and then uh, Underwood. Yeah, uh, I got just a variety. Uh, there's some, I forget what this other one was I had in here. But we appreciate Widener's. Uh, dot com because they're a new ammo, ammo sponsor and there's a discount code in the uh, description of any video so check that out widenerscom so we're using a variety of ammo 
and it's great. Uh, again, you got to shoot lighter ammo. Those first shots I took were not subsonic, were they? Yeah. And a suppressor just doesn't, uh, it helps because, uh, but it doesn't quiet it down like this 220 grain stuff does. And it, it does help. You see people with big, powerful rifles, of course, in the military or, or elsewhere, you know, with suppressors, because it does reduce, uh, you know, the noise. But mainly so maybe uh, you're not uh, identified, your whereabouts is not identified as easily. And so your ears aren't blown out, you know, just different reasons. Hunting, very, very popular in hunting now, aren't they? Uh, because you're out there, whatever, hunting prairie dogs, whatever, whatever you might be doing, and just don't, uh, you know, create the noise that, that you did, even if it's not this quiet, right? <laughs> even if it's not clinking like that, it's still a lot quieter. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot that barrel over there. Uh, that gives you an idea of the time. Have I hit the gong yet? I don't think I have. have I? <laughs> Pretty neat. Pretty neat. And we have a two liter here that needs to be taken down. Wow. It's just more dramatic with these uh, slow bullets. You know, one thing I could do with this, because velocity wise, you really are talking about uh, 45, you know, ACP or something. I can, I can, I wouldn't do it regularly, but I can shoot these, uh, the tree here, I think. Without... Yeah, just like shooting with a hot handgun. All right. Oh, we haven't smoked any pot. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Even if it's silenced, it'll still smoke pot. What about, what about a turkey over there on the top row. <laughs> Not a turkey, the turkey, right? Also want to thank uh, Alabama Holster. Do I have a bullet? No, I don't have one. I was going to put one on the logo. Appreciate uh, Alabama Holster. Got one in my pocket. Uh, been using their holsters for a long time. Discovered them many, many years ago. And uh, they're great pocket holsters, uh, or belt holsters, purse holsters, you name it. And uh, just concealment, high quality concealment holsters. Check them out and uh, you'll be glad you did. I love them. Uh, what else do you want to know about this rifle or this setup, anything? This is a highly specialized uh, <laughs> item here you see on most of my rifles, right? Just to give me the length. Obviously 300 blackout doesn't kick very much. And uh, this thing ships with a, uh, let's see, actually here it is, a 10 round magazine. But now you notice it is a standard 5.56 and it doesn't really feed as smoothly as these that are designed for 300 blackout. I discovered that when I first got it. And because uh, I, I had some uh, other uh, 300, 300, wow, but that's a 300 blackout mag, right? Just to make it clear and uh, i noticed they just go in and feed really smoothly but this one was not so smooth and uh, i remember john and i having some trouble years ago when we first got into 300 blackout when it came out that yeah some magazines work better than others and some didn't work at all almost you know uh, but uh you know some five five six mags and they'll generally work but they're just not ideal so just a word to the wise if you get a 300 blackout i would recommend you go ahead and and buy the magazines. They're just tweaked a little bit. They're about the same, but they're tweaked just enough to make it a little more reliable. And uh, so that's why I got these 10 rounders and uh, I like them better. Yeah, so I'll shoot a little bit more and uh, not bore you too much. And I, yeah, I just, that was one thing I wanted to mention about, about that magazine that came with it. If you saw the Sunday shoot around when I brought this out a couple weeks ago, whenever it was, it, it was uh, a little rough. I think in the video, I wasn't sure what was going on, but I uh, since realized that it was the magazine. It's okay, but it's just not ideal. So, yeah, what do I need with this? I don't hunt, but it's about 95, 99 degrees out here with humidity to match. Uh, I don't know, I just enjoy suppressing something like this that works so well. 
and just a good old basic, you know, bolt action uh, rifle. You know, easily takes a 10 round magazine or bigger and kind of a cool cartridge that, uh, so anyway, I thought, why not? It's something I, I don't have. And uh, I wanted one. And we were going on that field trip, a buddy of mine and I, down into Weaver, Alabama. So I thought, you know what, if I see one down there, I think I'll just bring it home. Let's see if these, if, you know, there are subsonic rounds. And I probably should stand back a little bit because they might bounce off that paper. No, I went through it. Okay, good. Okay, good. now I feel better. How about a bowling pin here? <laughs> I love it, I love it. <laughs> oh man, I'd like 300 blackout. Let's black you out, Mr. Two Liter. <laughs> Right, more ammo. There's one round. Oh, I popped it out of the magazine. How'd I do that? It's not going to get away with that, though. So I'm going to, I'm going to fire it. Uh, I'm going to fire that last round. Yeah. So before I do, again, uh, oh, one thing you might have wanted to know, since it's on here, it's not. It doesn't come with a rifle, of course. Uh, when you buy these, uh, Micro T2, you know, aim point. I have one there. Struggling with the red dot. I bought a prism scope, which you all recommended. I put it on a different rifle, but uh, I don't know. I may have to have one for all my rifles. <laughs> okay. The last round, and you probably know where I'm going to put it. On oh, my best friend over there, the gong. Ring the gong. <laughs> I should get up every morning and do that at 7, or whenever people should be up, right? It's like they used to ring the church bells in the small towns that, or on the college campus, you know, every hour or at seven in the morning or seven at night or whatever, or at five or at noon. But yeah, that'd be a good job for me, wouldn't it? You know, every day at noon, ring the bell every morning at whatever time. So anyway, uh, 300 blackout, Ruger Ranch rifle, uh, Banish 30 gold, uh, aim point micro, what a rig. So uh, I kind of like it. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastol.com, talongungrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.